A rear end collision quickly becoming much more than a minor accident. It escalates with the drivers, two men, their guns raised, firing at each other in broad daylight. In the middle of traffic on an always busy Westheimer Road. All this unfolding before drivers, Annie Rank trapped in all of that in her car. He was just wielding the gun everywhere, shooting bullets, and I was, I felt so helpless because I wanted to tell everyone to stop going near there. The shootout continues even as an ABC 13 crew is across the street working on another assignment. This became the story. The camera recording the standoff, then the arrival of police, officers taking cover behind cars, then moving in, arresting the men, one of whom was shot during the confrontation. They got the guy in custody. That's the voice of 13 video journalist Herzine Garcia, who heard the gunfire, then moved toward it, seeing it all through his camera lens, listening to it as well. One of the guys on the Jeep said, drop the gun, drop the gun, drop the gun, and the other guy's like a pulling the gun like that, and then it's like a crazy. ABC 13 reporter Erica Simon says she hit the ground during the shooting. When she got up, she saw a woman who'd been grazed by a bullet. We were trying to console her, let her know that ambulance was on the way. We could hear the sirens in the distance and to just hold on. The woman was taken to a nearby hospital for treatment. The wounded shooter taken to Ben Taub. A scene out of a movie is the way so many described all of this. Far more serious than the collision that apparently triggered it, and there's a lesson in this. If you got a you know, fender bender or something, please call the police. Call the police. Go to a gas station. Go to something. Deborah Brickley, 13 Eyewitness News.